Hot House is a 1962 science fiction novel by British writer Brian Aldiss, composed of five novelettes that were originally serialized in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction in 1961. In the U.S., an abridged version was published as The Long Afternoon of Earth, the full version was not published there until 1976. In 2009, IDW Publishing repackaged the novel with a new introduction by Clifford Meth. Topic. Title In the novel, Earth now has one side constantly facing the sun which is larger and hotter than it is at present so it has become a veritable hothouse, where plants have filled almost all ecological niches. According to Aldous' account, the U.S. publisher insisted on the name change so the book would not be placed in the horticulture section in bookshops. Topic. Plot introduction Set in a far future, the Earth has locked rotation with the Sun, and is attached to the now more distant Moon, which resides at a Trojan point, with cobwebs spun by enormous spider-like plants. The sun has swollen to fill half the sky and, with the increased light and heat, the plants are engaged in a constant frenzy of growth and decay, like a tropical forest enhanced a thousandfold. The plants, many now omnivores, have filled all the ecological niches on the land and in the air, many evolving primitive nervous systems and, in some cases, eyes, of the animals in the forest only the descendants of four species of social insects remain, tigerflies evolved from wasps, tree bees, plant ants and termites from termites along with small groups of humans a fifth of the size they are now, all other land and air animals have been driven to extinction by the vegetable kingdom, apart from a few shore dwellers. The humans live on the edge of extinction, within the canopy layer of a giant banyan tree that covers the continent on the day side of the earth. Topic. Plot summary Lily Yo, leader of a small, matriarchal human tribe, decides that the group should break up, as the adults are too old, and should go to the tips, the dangerous top levels of the forest, to go up. Burners, transparent seed casings, are collected, and the adults seal themselves inside after which the young attach them to the webs of the giant spider-like plants called traversers which travel into space to receive more intense sunlight and escape the parasitic tigerflies, as planned a traverser brushes against the sticky pods and carries them to the moon which now has a breathable atmosphere. The unconscious adults reach their destination, where they discover they have transformed into flymen, mutated by space radiation into flight-capable forms. They meet others and are impressed into an expedition back to Earth to kidnap human children to increase the flyman population. They hide inside a traverser to make the return journey to Earth. Back in the jungle, Toy is now the new leader. While attempting to kill a large seed-shaped suckerbird, the tribe accidentally become passengers on the suckerbird. After a long flight, they crash on the coast at the base of a termite castle on a peninsula. Walking back to the forest through no man's land, the lethal interface area between land and sea, Gren is waylaid by a morel, a sentient fungus which attaches itself to his head and forms a symbiotic relationship. After a power struggle, Gren leaves the tribe with his girlfriend Poily, also taken over by the morel. On their travels, they meet Yatmer of the Herder tribe, who live in caves in a congealed lava bed. At the skirt of the Black Mouth, an unknown creature with siren-like capabilities almost leads them to their deaths. Escaping, they meet the Tummy Belly men, some of whom they free by cutting the umbilical cords by which they are attached to a parasitic tree. All board a boat belonging to the Tummy Bellies, but during the escape Poily is killed. The boat, uncontrolled, floats downriver into the sea. After several adventures, the crew find themselves on an iceberg, the boat destroyed, after which the berg abuts a small islet. 
They leave by hitching a ride on a plant which propagates by using self-propelled, stilt-walking seeds, which instinctively walk to the mainland. They find themselves at the terminator, the boundary between the day and night sides. To their horror, they realize they are being carried over it. After a long journey, the seed stops near the top of a mountain, which is tall enough to still be lit by the low sun. There, Yatmer gives birth to Gren's child and they meet the sharp furs. They meet the Sotal Yi and his three helpers. Gren, increasingly taken over by the Morel, wants the baby to host it as well. In return for food, the Sotal Yi thinks of a way to remove the Morel from Gren's head by coaxing it into a bowl. They decide to accompany the Sotal Yi back to Bountiful Basin, an arm of the sea close to the Terminator. On the way they witness a solar flare. The Morel explains to them that the world is about to end as the sun brightens, and the strange, green columns they begin to see beaming into space as life itself, transferring to new stars. Followed by sharp furs and others, they notice a traverser has landed and blocked the passage to their destination. This is the traverser that was carrying Lily Yo and companions. The Morel manages to take over the Sotal Yi and when they reach the giant spider, Gren meets Lily Yo again. They board a traverser which is going to lift off to the stars after being taken over by the Morel which has now divided all except Gren, Yatmer, and the baby, who decide to return to the familiar forest, for the end of the world, while soon, will not occur within any of their lifetimes. Topic. Characters and species Topic. Characters Gren, young male tribesman. Later, hosts a morel. Lily Yo, leader of Gren's tribe. Band Appa Bondi, flyman, stolen from Earth as a child. Poily, Gren's tribal girlfriend. The Morel, sentient fungus, forms symbiotic relationships with other life forms and enhances their intelligence. Yatmer, Gren's girlfriend from the herder tribe. Lauren, Gren and Yatmer's son. The tummy belly men, fishers, humans who have become symbionts with the tummy trees. They lack courage and panic loudly at anything they find disturbing. Sotal Yi, prophet of the nightside mountains, Sotals are descended from dolphins, and now the most intelligent of all life on Earth. The only species that realizes the Earth is doomed. Topic. Species Flyman, human sub-species, able to glide and fly. Principally moon dwellers. Sharp furs, denizens of the nightside, descended from baboons. Traversers, giant spider-like vegetables, they spin webs that stretch between the earth and moon, and a few have traveled to nearby stars. Their 10,000-year infancy is now spent on the moon, away from the worst of the parasitic tigerflies, their only enemies. When mature they live on the solar radiation in space, returning to the earth to feed and mate, and the moon to bud. Topic. Reception The five hothouse stories were collectively awarded the 1962 Hugo Award for Best Short Fiction. James Blish called the stories, utter nonsense, and chastised Aldous for ignoring basic rules of physics. The magazine editor actually sought scientific advice about one aspect of the book. He was told that the orbital dynamics involved meant that it was nonsense, but the image of the Earth and Moon side by side in orbit, shrouded with cobwebs woven by giant vegetable spiders, was so outrageous and appealing that he published it anyway. Galaxy reviewer Floyd C. Gale praised the novel as a tour de force guaranteed to startle the most blasé SF buff. Topic. Magazine stories 
There were originally five short stories, which appeared in five 1961 issues of the magazine. Topic: <laughs> Versions and adaptations. Gamma World, a science fantasy role-playing game, first published by TSR in 1978, was partly inspired by the novel, as noted in the foreword to the game's first edition rulebook. The story was later loosely adapted into a four-part comic entitled Home, by Carlos Jimenez in Continuity Comics' Echo of Future Past Anthology. Topic. Sources, references, external links, quotations Hothouse on his official site SF Site Review Lost Book Archives Review